Good morning, it's Tuesday and man, hasn't a lot happened already this week. We crashed down, we're recovering. You know, this is crypto, this is what happens. And DeFi, well it just continues. So, as part of my new remit to create stuff for the Defiant, we're doing a new thing. It's called Two Minute Tuesday Tutorials. It's gonna be coming out weekly. What's the idea? It's basically this. If you watch a tutorial about anything in DeFi, chances are that video will be half an hour long. Ain't nobody got time for that. So we're gonna try and explain DeFi stuff in just two minutes. That's right, just two minutes. So this whole weekly series is gonna be about that, just boiling everything down to stuff where you can just get all those facts in your face. Mmm, yummy. So we're gonna to start today with buzzwords, the base of the pyramid, the stuff that you read about that makes no sense at all. Acronyms, you name it, we're gonna start there and we're gonna try and do 14 DeFi buzzwords in two minutes. All right then, so let's put two minutes on the clock and let's go. And let's start at the top, what the hell is DeFi. Well, it's decentralized finance, and that refers to the universe of financial applications built on blockchain. But don't confuse it with CeFi, which is centralized finance, or the old system. You right there, Boomer? Yeah, all right. Next, there's TVL, or total value locked, which refers to the total amount of assets stored in a DeFi protocol. And generally, the more money locked in the protocol, the bigger the vote of confidence in that protocol. But it can all come crashing down very quickly. Another common one is APY, or annual percentage yield, and this is the real rate of return earned on a savings deposit or investment, taking into account the effect of compounding interest. Compare this with APR, or annual percentage rate, which does not. Most DeFi apps are built on Ethereum. Every transaction is processed by computers that require energy to run, and that comes with a price tag in the form of gas fees. And if you see GUI, well, that's just the unit of measurement used to denominate these fees. One ETH equals a billion guai. What about a DEX? Well, that is a decentralized exchange. Stop it. It operates like a normal currency exchange, except it is run by smart contracts, which enforce rules and execute trades. Unlike a centralized exchange, or KEX, a DEX doesn't take custody of a user's funds, which is good. AMM stands for Automated Market Maker. Now these disrupt the traditional way that buyers and sellers come together. So instead of two parties having to muck about coming to an agreement, traders instead interact directly with a smart contract like magic. Ooh, la, la. Now AMMs rely on LPs, which are liquidity providers. And you can't trade without liquidity. These cats provide it and get paid for doing so. A dollar dollar bill, yo. DAO stands for Decentralized Autonomous Organization. It's basically an organization represented by rules encoded as a computer program. It's transparent, controlled by the members, and not influenced by a central government. Flash loans are futuristic next-generation DeFi and unique to the crypto space. A borrower can take out a flash loan with no collateral. However, it must be repaid within the same block or the entire transaction is canceled. And that one is for the pros. What about a synthetic? Well, that's a financial instrument that's made up of one or more derivatives, which provide exposure to assets without the investor having to buy them directly. Sounds weird, right? But these will allow anyone to trade, for instance, synthetic Apple and Google stock on-chain. And that, my friends, is when it all starts to get very, very spicy. A bonding curve defines a relationship between price and token supply. This bonding curve says the price increases as the supply of the token increases. With an exponential one like this, the growth rate accelerates as the number of tokens minted increases. But curves come in lots of different shapes. And stop the clock. How do we do? Rubbish. Okay, so that wasn't quite two minutes, but this is my first time doing this and I will improve. Plus, we did miss out a big one, which is impermanent loss. But we covered that in a whole segment on DeFi 101, which you can watch there. So just go watch that. Okay, that's it for this week. I hope it was helpful. If it was, then hit that goddamn like button, will you? Subscribe your scrawny ass to the channel. Two Minute Tutorials will return next week with more digital didactics to dial up your DeFi dopeness. Till then, peace!